We know the James Webb Space Telescope is going to be sent to Lagrange Point 2, but it's not going to be sent directly to the Lagrange Point. Instead, it's going to orbit around it in something called a halo orbit. Let's talk about why. Of the five Lagrange points in the Earth-Sun system, only four and five are stable with gravitational potentials that look like a hilltop. And because it's a system with orbital motion, then there are other forces like a Coriolis force that would nudge back an object into its position at those two points. Lagrange points one, two, and three are unstable, having gravitational potentials that look like saddles. But this is in three dimensions. So let's focus on points one and two. In the radial direction, the gravitational potential looks like a really steep hilltop, kind of like maybe the tip of an egg. And so in the radial direction, it's really unstable, very easy to roll, roll off on either side. So we don't want to place a spacecraft directly at these points. But if we look sort of perpendicular in an orbit that is perpendicular to the Earth-Sun plane, things look a little different. In that view, looking at those contours, we're no longer at that hilltop. And we kind of have these contours pointing inward, so if we orbit around it in that perpendicular direction, you kind of get a potential that's similar to a bowl, so it's kind of stable, but it's not exactly a bowl, and so we still need these corrections to keep a spacecraft in that point. And that leads to a halo orbit that looks like this, with the spacecraft going around L2 and around the sun at the same time, creating this sort of up and down motion throughout its orbit around the sun. We also know the JWST is being sent to L2 so that it's always pointing in a direction that's away from the sun, moon, and earth all at once. But it's not because we want to put it in the shadow of the earth. It's placed in this halo orbit, in fact, to keep entirely away from the shadow of the earth or the moon. In fact, it's going to be really far from its Lagrange point in order to make sure it never crosses within their shadows. This might seem counterintuitive because, well, in the Earth's shadow, it would be coldest. However, if we have the spacecraft constantly moving in and out of the Earth and Moon's shadows, then its temperature is also fluctuating. And we really need its temperature to stay stable so that we don't introduce noise into its data. And that is why the JWST will be in a halo orbit.